Our top stories tonight, AFP try to train the fists, Elias Amble has won the King of Style, and the Swiss free ski team is invading America. Good evening and welcome to the Down Days News, where we bring you yesterday's news tomorrow. I'm your host, Sean Barmer. Up first tonight, Freddie Alano has signed with Sweet Protection. As his helmet sponsor putting Freddie on the head to toe program, French pipe jock Ben Valentin has left corrupt and signed with Rosignol, swapping spots with the quarterback of half pipe skiing, Kevin Roland. The Swiss free skis team, including the lights of Cyril Hunziger and Kai Myler, have started the exodus of Euro athletes heading to the States to make the most of early season park shredding and to take part in the Jew Tour and the US Visa Grand Prix. For the full inside scoop on the Swiss free ski team, make sure you stay tuned to the most addictive entertainment since MTV's jackass, Schissgrein TV. <laughs> in sad news for pro hoes, Yoon Olsen has a new girlfriend and he seems pretty stoked on it. Good on you mate, she's smoking. Scandinavian qu ski queens Maria Bagger, Emma Dahlstrom and Nina Rusten are also amongst the group of Euros heading to the land of semi-automatics and deep fried living. Keep an eye on these girls as they, as they really impressed at the Nine Queens last year and will be looking to push their skills while posted up in Breck, especially Emma, who spent most of the off season sitting on a beach in Bali. The AFP recently finished a worldwide clinic with fist ski judges and wish to confirm that they have no idea what's going on. After clinics in Quebec, Oslo, Park City and Annecy, an unnamed reliable source says that Fist wants to get it. But hey, just because you want to get it, doesn't mean you get it. So expect some more interesting news from the unpopular headmaster of skiing. There will be four World Cup events this year, two pipe, two slope, with only one of them outside the US, which sounds a little bit like the World Series of Baseball, which is hosted in America. We now cross live to a man in the field. G'day, it's Sean Barmer here coming to you live from a field in Innsbruck. Elias the Ambulance has taken out his third big air of the season up in Stockholm in Sweden at the King of Style. Bobby Brown took second and the man who is one win away from being knighted by the Queen, James Woods, stomped his way to third. I'm giving a special mention to Jakob Wester who threw a banging trick in the finals to end up fifth. Up in Finland, the annual Reindeer Derby had to be put on hold as all the jockeys were competing in the JTS City Tour in Tampere. Aleski Laitinen came in third, with all round best dude in the world ever, Jussi Monanen, coming in at second behind poor boy superstar Oskari Laitinen. The setup was basic, but as expected from Finland, some of the tricks were mental. Coming up in the skiing world, the Winter of Wells documentary will be available for release over iTunes on the 8th of December, so make sure you get on there and download it. This one is one to watch with the family over Christmas and will make for a nice change from very boring TV viewing. The SFR Tour is about to kick off in France. The SFR Tour has a wild card for pipe and slope style at the Euro X Games held in team toward the end of March and is the best way for some of Europe's domestically known athletes to get exposure on the world stage. As a multi-stop tour, the first leg will count for 60% of the slope style wild card, but the pipe will be a winner takes all event. The first stop will take place from the 15th to the 17th of December at Val Ski Resort. And now for the weather, brought to you by Adidas Eyewear. <laughs> While most of Europe are getting ants in their pants about the lack of the snow of the moment, I urge you not to scratch the itch too hard, as the last few early seasons falls have provided us with nothing when we needed it. The frost that has been causing havoc for farmers is a blessing for us, making the ground freeze, which is essential for a good base to form when the snow does drop, which I assure you is now on the way. The 6th of December will be the day it all starts to make sense, with widespread falls in the vicinity of 20 centimetres for most of Europe's alpine regions, as cold air comes charging in over the UK and freezing level drops below 1,000 metres. All right, so today's fresh produce, we've got a new uh, backpack that's come in from Dakin called The Quest, uh, targeted at filmers or photographers using a DSLR setup. Basic entry point in the top here for keeping your body and your lenses in, and then secondly, the big area is in here for all your accessories and stuff. There's a lot of really good bags out there that hold cameras really well, but eventually every now and then you're gonna have to shred down from the hill, so it's nice to have a bag that uh, you know will support you on the way down. The padded laptop bag is pretty good because quite often you'll need to take everything with you on a plane or to travel. So your whole kit will fit in here with a tripod holder and a place to hold your skis. So there it is, the quest from Degain, this week's fresh produce. And we'll be back with more after this quick commercial break.
Ski racer Ted Legarty has opened our eyes to the tyrannous dictatorship that is FIS. Ted blogged quite strongly about the new restrictions placed on the equipment they could use and also started pushing out the needs of manufacturers. Ted's quote reads as follows. This should serve as a warning for sports like freeride skiing and snowboarding. Don't let FIS monopolise your sport. FIS will bleed you dry of what has made it cool. I suggest you all head over there to Ted's article and read it. Tegligity.com <laughs> Hello and welcome to Barmer's Late Night where we sit down and talk about the important things while doing nothing. My first guest tonight, Paddy Graham. Come on down, Paddy. Paddy, how you doing, mate? Good Very well, thank you. How are you? Lovely. Pretty good. So, uh, back on the sticks, I hear it? Back on skis, yeah, it's been a um, slow, slow summer to, to begin with after uh, blowing out my knee. Everybody's pretty aware that you blew out your knee, but how's your ass recovered? Because I think that was the worst injury you really Well, had. do you want to see it? I'd love to. Get it out. Let's see it. Do we want to see, see it? it? The people want to see it? The people want to see it. Get your Are ass you out. Are you sure? Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what we got. There it is. Yeah, we just ordered a new camera, pretty fancy one. Oh, well, I love Dre must be starting. Andre is frothing. It's uh, the new red, um, the scarlet. So it's quite a small, smaller red they've got. It's just been released. And so what's kind of the plan for, for Legs of Steel now? A, a movie again, a bit more of a webisode series, pushing it on that line again? Yeah, we'll have the movie to download. It's quite going to be quite cheap, but... Like for the length of a, a ski movie these days, you don't want to stream 40 minutes of, of action. So we want to set up a download so people can you know, really watch the movie. And then um, we're also going to release another free movie to accompany that, that uh, feature length film. We're going to have a couple, of, uh, a couple of webisodes behind the scenes. And, uh, and yeah, we've got, also got another clip coming out in a couple of weeks, which uh, should be very interesting for everyone to see. Well, Alright, cool. Fantastic. I've got your present, actually. Oh, nice. This guy. This guy. Early Christmas present for you. Hey, what all the kids wanted. I'm opening it now. I know it's not Christmas. Oh, legs of steel hoodie. Fresh. Lucky I'm doing all my fitness, because it'll fit me now. Get that involved, kids. Alright, Paddy Graham, thanks for joining us thanks, on Barbara's Sean. Late Night. Thank you for watching the Down Days News. Stay tuned in another two weeks when we brought, bring you more of yesterday's news tomorrow. <laughs>